Okay, today we will take a look at $DollarFix DF65. Now this is very similar scanner to ThinkScan662. So this is for system scanner. Let me plug it inside my OBD2 port and I will show you what it can do. Now it is for system but it is still bidirectional, you have some service resets. So it is not that basic scanner. So you can either do this Vint scan, which will try to search for car model and brand automatically, but it doesn't work on other vehicles. So I have to select manually Toyota. Let's go to Asian brands and look for Toyota. Here it is connecting select 16 pin DLC. Now it tells me how to search for engine code, which I selected and now we can do this health report. So there are only four modules to scan, actually three because I don't have automatic transmission. But it found four systems because one is like global OBD for engine and then engine is scanned another time. So now my health report is over. I don't have any fault codes. I can also make diagnostic report. This is same software like Finker or Mucar, so it does look very similar. And you can send them with Bluetooth or by email. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I'm Yuri, I test OBD2 scanners, I have tested hundreds of them, and all the best scanners I have put on my website, on the page OBD2 scanner guide, it is linked in the description, and on that page you can choose best OBD2 scanners by budget type or car brand, and if you are not sure which scanner type is for you, click the link on top, download my OBD2 scanner buyer's guide, and I will send you a short PDF which explains differences between scanners, and you will know which one is right for you. Now let's enter some system, for example let's go to eOBD, so this is basically engine, but it is same like global OBD, it is like if you connect basic code reader and you can read readiness monitors, so this will show me status of my readiness monitors, most of them are ready which is good, actually all of them are ready, so there isn't any problem in exhaust system, then you can read live data. So here I can select bunch of live data I want to look at and build my own custom page. Now with engine on we can see these values changing and you can also display them in form of graphs and do two separate graphs at once or combine four different values into one graph and watch them together. And you can also record this data so it is useful for diagnosing some engine problems. But I also want to show you this, because if I enter engine module, so now we are not going through this OBD, but we are going into engine. And now if I go into data stream, I have a lot more live data parameters. So this is like OEM scan, which gives more live data. If you go through that eOBD, it only gives out basic engine parameters. And then I can also do actuation tests. So these are bidirectional tests. This scanner is also bidirectional. So I can, for example, test my fuel pump. Now I am activating my fuel pump relay. However, I am not sure if you will be able to hear it, but it did turn on my fuel pump. You can see it on this live data. So I also selected monitoring of fuel pump. And now I can activate it with this on button. I think you cannot hear it, but now my fuel pump is on. Or then for example I tested my VVT control and here I have notes which says that the engine should stall after I turn it on. And that is exactly what happened, my engine died after I turn it on. So I guess that means VVT is ok. And then we can enter some other system, for example, let's go to ABS, actuation test, so I can show you that every module comes with different bidirectional tests. So here you can see there are a bunch of tests about my ABS system, for example, ABS motor relay, I can turn it on just with my scan tool, or for example, this warning buzzer, turn it on, and now you can hear it or I can even activate my brake warning light. There are a bunch of different tests for every module. And then you also got service resets. So here are 10 service procedures you can use. So even though it scans only for systems, it is pretty advanced because you got these service resets. So if you are changing oil or injectors on your car, you will still be able to do it. And here are all supported languages. So there are a lot of languages to choose from. Scanner is fairly cheap, 
It is bidirectional, works fine. I mean, I can recommend it and I will link to buy it in description.